Well, we're making history. We're making history for the future. In a year no one will forget, in the middle of a historic pandemic, thousands of construction workers. And it's not just men, it's women and youngsters, old guys like me. Are making history of their own. It makes me feel proud because this will probably go in the history books and my children and my grandchildren could see back and see what I was participating in. Continuing to build California's high-speed rail. Despite the worldwide COVID-19 pandemic, Despite a quarantine slowdown that's affected all of us, California's high-speed rail program continues to move forward. We're providing stability for families. Stable work, stable paycheck, stable family. 32 active construction sites dot the 119 miles of construction from north of Madera to south of Corcoran. To complete that work, more than 4,000 construction jobs have been created, with around 1,000 workers being dispatched to the job sites each week. We have, over the course of the last year, increased the number of workers out on our construction sites by fourfold. And of those workers, 73% call the Central Valley home. Close to home, for sure. I'm uh, 30 minutes from home, as opposed to five, six hours from home. In Construction Package 1, stretching from Madera to Fresno, rebuilding State Route 180 over the Fresno Trench is underway, transitioning to Stage 5 of that project. Signature structures like the San Joaquin River Viaduct and the Cedar Viaduct crossing over State Route 99 are closing in on completion. As are a number of new Madera County bridges at Avenue 15, Avenue 10, and Avenue 7, where in early July, Avazon Construction, one of 183 disadvantaged enterprise businesses, was working on the project laying asphalt. In Construction Package 2-3, the amount of work there has exploded. Bridges and overcrossings, utility relocation, and even canal construction span the alignment. At the Melga Canal, 200 cubic yards of concrete poured for just this section this work is being done in preparation for the future Jackson Avenue overcrossing nearby. While crews have begun pile driving the more than 7,000 piles that will be required to build the Hanford Viaduct that will eventually allow high-speed trains to pass over State Route 198. Preparing for a milestone at the largest project in construction package four. Crews at the Wasco Viaduct are constructing the side of the pergola there that will eventually hold more than 70 giant concrete girders, helping high-speed trains pass over the existing freight line. 2020 and COVID-19 have left California and the nation in uncertain times. But at times of the greatest need, the nation has historically turned to infrastructure projects from the New Deal to the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. And as we forge ahead, high-speed rail will be there continuing to build and rebuild for our state. The best thing that this project has going is what we are doing for economic development in the Central Valley. It's the stability for families at a very unstable time.